Hello everybody, it's me, Austin, here to play my favorite game, look shit up on the internet and try to learn something. Today, we're learning about anthrax. Anthrax toxin is a three protein exotoxin. All right, we got a lot to click on there. First of all, honestly, you look at protein and I think I know that word, but do I know what it is? No. Proteins are large, okay. Biomolecules, what is a biomolecule? It's a loosely used term for molecules and ions that are present in organisms. Okay, great, so, so protein is just a big organic thing that performs a vast array of functions. Great. An exotoxin is a toxin secreted by bacteria. Oh, that's clever. This is what I didn't understand about anthrax because I kind of thought anthrax was more like a poison, right? If you like, like drinking bleach, it was just so powerful, it just killed you. So anthrax is an exo, or I'm sorry, the anthrax toxin is an exotoxin that is secreted by virulent. Virulence is a pathogen or microbe's ability to infect. So the anthrax toxin is secreted by this particular bacteria. I think I've got, all right, I think I've got the first sentence done and I think you get it too, right? The anthrax toxin is the three protein exotoxin. We know what that means. Proteins are just big organic things that do a lot. Exotoxin, that means it comes from a bacteria and it, and it only comes from the virulent strains of this bacteria Bacillus anthraxis. I don't know why I made that C and X. Makes sense so far? I get it. The toxin was first discovered by Harry Smith in 1954. Look at that. Two sentences. Who gave us such genius? Okay, sentence number three. Anthrax toxin is composed of a cell binding protein known as the protective antigen. What is an antigen? An antigen is a molecule capable of inducing an immune response in the host organism. Anthrax is composed of a cell binding protein and this protein it's is an antigen a protective antigen and it that's the part of anthrax that forces the body to have an immune response to the anthrax toxin so we've got that and we've got two enzyme components called the edema factor Edema, edema, and lethal factor. I'm guessing I know what lethal factor means, but we'll check it out anyway. Ho, oh. oh fuck. Anthrax lethal factor endopeptidase is an enzyme. What's an enzyme? Enzymes are macromolecular. We learned what that means. Big, big molecules. Biological catalysts. Enzymes accelerate chemical reactions. Got it, I can stop there, that's good enough for me. So anthrax lethal factor endopeptidase is something that accelerates chemical reactions that catalyzes the hydrolysis. Chemical breakdown of a compound due to reaction with water. Okay, great. The, this lethal factor is an enzyme, which means it's something that causes a reaction that catalyzes, that creates the breakdown of a this particular protein in water. Now, what is the mitogen activated protein kinase kinase? The mitogen activated protein kinase kinase is a kinase enzyme. Holy shit. <laughs> what is kinase? A kinase is an enzyme. We know what that means. Something that causes change that catalyzes the transfer of phosphate. Phosphate being Phosphate is, is a chemical derivative of phosphoric acid. I honestly don't know what that means. A kinase create, causes the transfer, it's an enzyme, causes the transfer of phosphate groups from high energy, what is even high energy in this context? A phosphate, phosphate, how do, how do people learn this stuff? I think I might hit a wall here. This is a complicated one. Adenosine diphosphate. So this thing, ADP, is important in the metabolism and the flow of energy. I'll stop there, because there's quite a bit. There's some big words here. Helps, it helps you metabolize and get energy, great. High energy phosphate bonds are pyros, 
py pyrophosphate. All right, back. Okay, so you've got this, a canasi transfers oh, ATP to a variety of substrates, which are, substrates are just, uh, it looks like just uh, the thing that comes after the equal sign in this. It's just a thing, the next thing is a substrate, which means the mitogen activated protein canasi canasi The mitogen activated protein canasi canasi is a canasi enzyme. Canasi meaning it relates to the transfer of high energy phosphate things somewhere else. <laughs> I can't. This one back. We're just gonna back up one level. I just can't understand it that deep. That's impossible. So the anthrax lethal factor endopeptidase is an enzyme that allows for those crazy canasses we just read about that had something to do with phosphorus to break down in water, which would be really bad if those broke down in water because those are super important because they move ATP around, right? And ATP is pretty important. All right, let's back out to the whole picture. Anthrax toxin is the three protein exotoxin secru 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 secreted by virulent strains of the bacterium Bacillus anthraxis. We get, we understand that whole thing, right? Three proteins, exotoxins, we're good on all that. The toxin was discovered by Harry Smith in 1954, who gives a shit. Anthrax toxin is composed of a cell binding protein known as protective antigen, which is something that elicits an immune response from me. So it's got that but within it, it also has two enzyme components, enzyme being things that do things, things that cause change. One is the edema factor, which I don't know what it is because there's no link to click. And one is the lethal factor, which causes an important part of your body to dissolve in water. <laughs> this is what... <laughs> These three protein components act together to impart their physiological effects. Self-explanatory. Assembled complexes containing the toxin are endocytosed. Uh, endocytosis is a form of bulk transport in which a cell transports molecules into the cell. This assembled complex with the toxin in it, which is secreted by that bacteria, is transported into a cell uh, in, a, in a group. It's enclosed and transported into the cell. That's what endocytosed means. In the endosome, what is that? An endosome is a membrane-bound compartment inside eukaryotic cells. I vaguely remember that word. It is a compartment of the endocytic membrane transport pathway. Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta click it. Eukary eukary eukaryotes are organisms whose cells have a nucleus enclosed with membranes. Okay, whatever. So an endosome is just a compartment inside of the cell of many living things. I think I kind of understand that. The assembled, the, the parts of this toxin are com, com, put into a compartment, brought inside of a cell, inside of the endosome, and then they translocate, which I'm guessing just means move. Yes, they just go to across membranes to other things. Into the cytoplasm, which is just a bunch of goop inside of a living cell. I'm starting to feel like this ice is getting thin. Like I, I, I really understood that first sentence super well. And I'm feeling that the ice is just cracking underneath my feet. Once in the cytosol, which I'm guessing is just the cytoplasm, the enzymatic components of the toxin, enzymatic meaning related to enzymes. So the, the parts of the toxin, the parts of the toxin that relate to causing change, causing uh, chemical reactions, disrupt various immune cell functions, namely cellular signaling and cell migration, which might relate to that thing I said of how it, it makes things dissolve in water. The toxin may even induce cell lysis, which means what? I'm gonna have to Google this one. The disagrentation, oh my God, did you hear? <laughs> the disagrentation, uh, the disintegration of a cell. Uh, by rupture of the cell wall. That is not good, surely. So the toxin can also, may even, not always, may, if it's feeling up to it, cause your cells to explode, as observed for macrophage cells. Macrophage cells meaning, of course, 
white blood cells. Wow, that's bad. You don't want those to explode. Those are those help you stay alive. Yeah, those things, those are the things that engulf and digest cancer and, and disease and things. So if it gets inside those and explodes them, you're in big trouble. The anthrax toxin allows the bacteria to evade the immune system. It's all coming together proliferate and ultimately kill the host animal. Okay, I'm starting to get a sense of how this is working. A probably a very wrong sense. These three protein components, meaning the part that elicits an immune response and then the two enzyme components. We know all about enzymes now, me and you. They work together, good for them. They bunch themselves up. The toxin basically has a bus that goes inside of a cell, lets everyone off the bus, messes about in the cytoplasm, which is the goop inside of, a, of the bus, sometimes explodes the cell, and then it messes about with your immune system and stuff. Last sentence. Research on anthrax toxin also provides insight into the generation of macromolecular assemblies. Oh my God, look at that. So when you research anthrax like we're doing right now, we also learned a lot about macromolecular assemblies, which I'm of course an expert on now and protein translocation, which we also kind of learned about, uh, which, which has to do with basically moving from one cell to another cell, but moving to the one you want to, like having the address of that cell and going to it. It also lets you learn about pore formation. Pretty cool, important to take care of your pores. You can tell I have like a little uh, thingy there because I'm not taking care of my pores. Endocytosis, which is, uh, which thing was that? We read about that. Yeah, yeah, the bulk transport of molecules, so bunching molecules together, moving, and other biochemical processes. Okay, we've read through the whole first paragraph. We've clicked on all the links. The question is, do we fundamentally understand the anthrax toxin? I'm going to go ahead and say no. From what I've learned reading this one paragraph and clicking a bunch of things, you know, we've taken, what, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes? going through all this stuff. The anthrax toxin is a three protein exotoxin, meaning it comes out of a particular bacteria that goes into the body, bunches up the bad bits, pushes them inside of your cells, lets them all out, messes about, sometimes explodes them if it's a macrophage, moves to other cells and does the same thing. It primarily does this to immune cells like white blood cells explodes them or maybe not primarily i really i just made that part up this is how rumors get started but it targets the immune cells kills them which is a very good thing if you're a bacteria lo and behold this thing comes along with the bacteria because it comes out of a bacteria so the toxin destroys the, the your ability to fight the bacteria the bacteria fucks you right up and then you die the one bit i'm not really sure about had to do with like your mitogen activated protein canasi canasis dissolve in water which i can't i'm not the thing i don't understand is are they would they normally do that or is that really bad and also where's the water coming from my body so i don't quite get that but i think everything else i mostly kind of understand if you are a chemist and you want to tell me how everything I said was incorrect, please do so in the comments, because that is important to learning and admitting your mistakes.